Hello everyone. The aim of the experiment is to simulate frequency modulation for two different modulating voltage amplitudes and modulating frequencies. The first way is our message wave shown here. It is given as mt equal to am cos 2 pi fmt. The second wave is the carrier wave given as ct that is equal to ac cos 2 pi fct. The third wave is the frequency modulated wave it is given as fm is equal to ac cos 2 pi fct plus beta sine 2 pi fmt. As we know in frequency modulation the frequency of the carrier wave is varied with the instantaneous amplitude of the message wave. Thus, we have variations in frequency, compression or expansion in the FM wave. When message wave is positive, we get compressions. When it is negative, we get expansions. Here, the beta is given as the modulation index it is equal to kf into am by fm kf is the frequency sensitivity of the frequency modulator we have two pi, two types of frequency modulations narrow band fm and wide band fm based on the value of beta beta is less than 1 or equal to 1 or just slightly greater than 1 then it is narrow band Else, if it is very large, beta is higher than, much larger than 1, we have wide band FM. So, let's go for uh, the modulation uh, for uh, simulation using the octave online. I have some issue with my MATLAB software so I'm using online let's start with the um, KF let's take KF is equal to 14 AM FM modulating frequency, a single tool, single frequency is used here. Take as 2 beta modulation index, it's defined as KF to EM divided by FM. Time between which beta is taken as KF into AM divided by FM. AM is taken as 1. So in octave 2, A was missed. That's why there was an error shown here. Alright. Now the time between which we want to have the graph or we want to plot is between 0 to 1 second. And the intervals that I want to take is 0 to 1. Carrier. Carrier frequency is taken as 20. Frequency modulated wave 
FMT is ruled by FMT Muslim hands in Syria. Gods. Two. Five. is equal to AC into cos 2 pi FCT plus beta into sine 2 pi FM T MT is equal to AM into cos 2 pi Let's plot them. So we're going to have all the graphs in a single page. So we'll have three graphs. First graph is of empty the message signal. Let's give our title. message signal then subplot second graph is of the carrier signal Last graph is our frequency modulated signal. Third graph, first row, uh, first column, and third row. Thus we have these three graphs with us. Top one is the message signal, second is the carrier and third is the frequency modulated signal. So let's give a title. Frequency modulated signal. So we can see that the frequency of the frequency modulated signal is varying in, in accordance to the uh, instantaneous value of the message signal. We end this program here. Thank you.